but it's not really flattering the fit like on my arms and stuff. Hey babe, do you remember this was the blouse that I wore on our first date? A little bit too gaudy for me, I feel like. Plus hair perfecter. Good morning, guys. So it's actually good afternoon. It's after 1 p.m. I am gonna do a hair mask. Um, this is my natural hair. A lot of you guys don't know that my hair is pretty curly. Uh, so I just washed it last night and I let it air dry and went to sleep with it like that. I just I need to do something because I need to I need to like hydrate my hair. Uh, so we're gonna take care of this right now. I'm doing the Olaplex Hair Perfector, and this is a number three, and it repairs and strengthens all hair types. So there's different um, versions of this product, depending on what your hair is like, if it's color damaged. I don't color my hair anymore, so I don't have a need for like color damage -ness. I do a significant amount. This says to use, it says to use it one time per week for damaged hair two to three times per week. Yeah, so it doesn't say anything about the amount that you need. So what I'm going to do is, I have a spray bottle of water here, and I'm just going to spray my hair and dampen it. Of course you can do this in the shower, like a normal person, and just wet your hair, but I am actually going to leave it on for a while, and like go out for a walk and go about my day. So I'm just going to moisten it, like I said. Dampen the hair. You see how much longer my hair is when I comb it out? The shrinkage is real. A little bit more water. And then I'm gonna go in with the Olaplex a good amount. Like that. And I'm going to work this into the hair. I wanna focus on the ends because that's where most of my damage is from any hair color that I have left over and like really work it through. I have a lot of hair, so I'm gonna take a little bit more. Oops. That. And work it through. And then I'm gonna put my hair up in a little bun and that'll be like my little style for the day. And then I'm just gonna put it up into a pony. Now we're gonna go on about our day. Now we head out for a walk, I'm just gonna put on some sunblock and this is my sunblock of choice. It's by Supergoop and it's an unseen sunscreen SPF 40 and it's water and sweat resistant. So I'm gonna use this, whoa. Just take a good amount and put it all over. This goes on so nicely, by the way. It's like a, it's almost like a primer consistency. It's like silky and smooth. So it would make a great base for makeup, but I am not wearing any today. And this is my everyday sunblock, by the way. Ready to go. working out you guys I took a 30 minute intervals and arms class and I am dead like really dead so I'm gonna take a shower now and wash out this hair mask make dinner and blow dry my hair oh hi guys I'm gonna make some salmon um, I have my hair wrapped because I just took a shower and it's just in my little turban so that I could kind of like dry a little bit before I blow dry it Salmon. Um, what else do I need from here? I think I'm gonna make Brussels sprouts yeah. and potatoes.
guys good afternoon um i totally forgot to close out the vlog last night because we ate dinner and we were in the middle of game night with friends and then i just like fell asleep at one point last night i came to bed and just knocked out because uh, i was so tired and like emotionally drained anyways today we are going to finally tackle the project of cleaning out my closet and doing like a little wardrobe edit I don't know how much stuff I'm gonna be getting rid of, but I think it's time to part ways with some stuff. Looks like we got a freshly delivery, so I'm gonna go put that away, and then I'm gonna get started on my closet edit and take you guys with me. There's a bunch of stuff back there that I need to go through, so let's go. actually been enjoying freshly I think since the beginning of quarantine and it's just been a game changer because we don't have to like think about what we're gonna have for lunch or like stop in the middle of our work day to make a sandwich or something and it's just like healthy balanced meals this is not sponsored by the way um, it's healthy balanced meals and they're like super not super low calorie but they're healthy and filling and it's just like an easy thing you pop it in the microwave and then we'll cook dinner so that's been like a lifesaver for us during quarantine highly recommend okay now let's really go get into this closet This one I'm like unsure about, but it's not really flattering the fit like on my arms and stuff. And I have one that's super similar, just like a longer version. So I think this one has to go. But I'm gonna have to try on. It's a little bit revealing. I've actually never worn it. Um, and I don't know how I feel about these ruffles. It's a little bit boho for the vibe I'm going for. So I'll have to try this one on. This one is also a little bit boho. You can see with the eyelet but I feel like you can kind of edge this one up. And I have worn this one so many times. Hey babe, do you remember this was the blouse that I wore on our first date? I just remembered that. So I have to keep it. Don't you agree? Yeah. Do you remember what you wore on your first date with me? No, this one is also a little bit too on the girly side, but I do have, um, a few ideas of how I've been wanting to wear it. Let me show you guys. Sorry for the video game noises in the background. Um, so blouses like this that are super like girly feminine, adding a pop shoe and like an edgy color, I think makes it like cooler. So I'm gonna try this combo. And if I don't wear this blouse enough, then I'll give it away. I've had this blouse for years and I always convince myself to keep it, but I literally never wear it. I just love like the men's wary vibe of it. I'm gonna keep it. We're gonna try to make it work. This one is also really girly, but again, I think that with the right accessories and the right bottom, this one could also work. It's very like Isabel Marat vibes. Okay, this one, I don't know, I love this blouse when I got it, but it's just like a little bit too gaudy for me, I feel like. It's very Versace vibes. I just like literally never reach for it. Yeah, I think this one's going. This one's also very Versace vibes, but I just feel like this one looks a little bit more elevated than the other one. This one's also Zara, by the way. I literally never wear this top. Um, I don't know if I'm like a pink girl, but I have an idea for how I'm gonna wear this one. Let me show you guys. I just recently got these orange trousers from Zara. Do you guys get the vibe? Mm -hmm. We're gonna try that. I don't know. All right, 
like this lace dress. I don't know, I wore it once to like a little wedding. Um, it does feel expensive. This was like a $14 dress from H&M, but the weight of the lace fabric is really nice. It was a really nice fit. Um, just might be a little bit too girly for me. But I do think it has potential to like edge it up and make it cooler with like shoes and accessories. So we're gonna give it one more chance. All right, this skirt. I feel like every blogger had this skirt. It's a tartan plaid. Tartan is pretty timeless, doesn't really go out of style. I just feel like the shape and the cut of the skirt is a little bit too, you know, boho, but it's like kind of sloppy, you know? Like there's no like construction to it. It like, it's kind of frumpy, that's the word I'm looking for. It doesn't really do much for my figure. So we're gonna ditch this one. This is a really nice one, also from Zara. I don't know that you guys can see the details. It's like a nice little ruffle. Yeah, you guys can see that. All right, and I think that's it for now. I'm gonna try on a bunch of stuff that I took out of my closet. I'll show you guys what I'm keeping, what's going, and we're gonna get to this edit. All right, so this is all of the stuff that I took out of my closet that I either am no longer loving or doesn't fit me properly anymore. And I'm just gonna try everything on to make sure that I wanna part ways with it. And I'm gonna show you guys, to see if I change my mind on anything. All right, let's get to it. I'm supposed to be cleaning, but um, we're gonna take a little ice cream break because your girl needs a snack and I just like ended up laying in bed when I'm supposed to be trying on clothes. So we're gonna go on a little walk. Are you mad? Yeah. Really? Tell me more. Okay. What else? Yeah. Okay. Tell me how you feel. Bad.
situation and riceless burritos. Hi guys, so um, I feel like I, I don't even know where I left off with you guys. I just kind of took the rest of the afternoon to just like relax and catch up on the news, catch up on TV. I feel like I can't pull myself away from everything that's going on right now. Um, it's just like been a really heavy couple of days. Um, so I'm trying not to like beat myself up for not accomplishing all of the things that I wanted to accomplish this weekend. Yeah, that's where I'm at. So I started cleaning out my closet. I tried on a bunch of things and I have a bag full of stuff that I'm gonna donate. Um, I also realized I never talked to you guys about my hair and the Olaplex mask that I did. I really, really like this hair perfector mask. Again, this is the number three that I used. And I didn't talk to you guys, I'm not wearing a bra. I didn't talk to you guys about the results. Basically, it's just like my hair, I mean, it's a little bit, I feel like I could have probably washed it out a little bit better. Like my hair feels a little bit um, like there's product in it and I didn't put anything in it. Actually, I did put heat protection in it, but it just feels like a little bit heavy. You know what I mean? But other than that, it just feels like, I feel like my ends feel like they're more like sealed and like strong, if you will. I don't know. You guys, I definitely recommend it. I feel like my hair just like feels healthy, if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend that. I am going to take a shower and call it a night. It's actually pretty late. It's about to be midnight. I'm going to take off my face. I'm going to use this DHC cleansing oil. And I actually have reusable cotton pads, but they're in the bedroom. So I'm just going to use these little cotton pads and take off my makeup and call it a night. I had every intention of waking up early tomorrow, but that's not going to happen. So I guess I'll cut the vlog here and I will see you guys. I can't see you right now, but I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye.